The fifth P is profit. And it's a big part of today's conversation. And as you think about a vision for your business, you should be blasting past your break even. And we'll get into the details of that in just a second. To really go after true profit, but also keep expenses down, at least to get a padding, so that you can sustain for a year, two years, five years, or like me, many years beyond that, for the long haul, just based on the previous work you've done, the padding you've created. Does that all make sense? So those are the five P's, and I would dare you, I'm gonna dare you to put that in a vision statement for your business. Here's how we're gonna be purposeful. Here's what it feels like to live from purpose for us as our company. Here's what it feels like to come into work emotionally connected and engaged. Here's how we're gonna get there and stay there. And yeah, a lot of those principles come into play. Sleeping right, hydrating, eating right, exercise. Do you guys have exercise or walking during your business day with your team? Where you get out and just reflect, stretch, move around, right? Positivity, what are we doing to bring the joy? And conversely, we talked about this in a previous training today. What are we doing when the joy is sucked out of us? What are we doing to reset ourselves? Highest performers do not have bad days. They do not have bad hours. They have bad moments because they recognize, ooh, neutral negative mindset's coming over. And it could have been a trigger or it could have been just a thought that appeared. And now I got to go out and reset myself. I'm going to reset myself so I don't wreck myself (laughs) and go after it. I shared in our previous training today exactly what I do to reset. And if it's a magnitude of 10 out of 10, then it's a beach day and I just go out and get disconnected from everything and really own that. Does that all make sense? So that ends the vision or the perspective part of our work today. Now let's step into the training aspect.